Right, well, the lecture that I've just given has mainly concentrated on uh, three main areas of cancer research. The first is the use of targeted therapies to treat cancers, uh, and that's really based on an understanding of the molecular biology of cancers. And I used there the paradigm of uh, non-small cell lung cancer, uh, where it's been discovered that there are mutations in the gene that codes for the epidermal growth factor receptor, which is widely expressed on um, non-small cell lung cancer cells um, and drugs have been developed by the pharmaceutical industry that target these mutations um, and these treatments have led to um, quite a dramatic improvement in the overall survival of patients with this disease. So it's gone from a median survival of seven months to a paper that's just recently been published in the Journal of Clinical Oncology last month where at three years 60% of the patients are still alive. So that's quite a change. The other area is immunotherapy. Um, and that was brought about by the discovery of so-called immune checkpoints. Um, and in fact, the two guys who discovered these checkpoints were awarded the Nobel Prize for Medicine last year. Um, and in one of the cancers that I do research in melanoma, um, in the days before we had these immune checkpoint inhibitors, the average survival of patients was about seven months. Uh, and we've just had seen published the results of a big randomized clinical trial a couple of weeks ago at the European Society of Medical Oncology in Barcelona where the five-year survival is now 52 percent. So this disease has gone from a uniform or fatal disease to a disease where I think we're curing half the patients. Uh, and then thirdly um, uh, is angiogenesis, so that's where we're using drugs that target the vasculature within the cancer uh, and the cancer that's most susceptible to this is kidney cancer because um, the hormone that, that drives angiogenesis is vascular endothelial growth factor and that's highly overexpressed in kidney cancer. Um, and for the last 10 years we've been using drugs that, that target VEGF uh, and that's brought about big improvement in survival there. But now immunotherapy is also being tested in this cancer as well and that seems to be improving things even further. So we've seen quite an evolution of, of treatments over the last, uh, certainly the last five years um, for, for these cancers that were once really difficult to treat. Um, and I think the whole um, application of these treatments is going to use more, use more widely um, in other cancers. Um, so for example, the drug companies that have got these checkpoint inhibitors um, they've got hundreds of clinical trials going on in all sorts of different cancers um, and I think that immunotherapy is likely to replace chemotherapy for a lot of these cancers in the next 10 years. Well I think CAR T certainly in haematological malignancies uh, has, has been a big step forward. Um, patients who've, who've failed a lot of conventional treatments seem to be able to be salvaged by CAR T therapy. Uh, the problem with it is is extremely expensive and you're making uh, a product for an individual patient which is extremely um, time consuming. Um, at the moment they've not been successful in solid tumours and that's largely because you have to target antigens within the tumour that are not expressed at all on any normal cells in the body and in solid tumours that's actually quite difficult to find because there is usually some low-level expression of the antibody antigens in, in normal tissues, which means that the toxicity from the CAR-T therapy goes up enormously when you try and do it. So that, that's a techni technological challenge that I think has got to be um, dealt with over the next few years.